Hello everybody, this is Chris Mackey. Welcome back. This is your 17th Honeybee Energy tutorial. Uh, and in this one, it's, it's the third one in which we're covering stuff related to, uh, to constructions, to wall and roof and floor and all those cool constructions. And if you guys remember in the last video, we've been sort of altering the constructions of, uh, of my parents' house here. We changed, uh, we changed the walls to be a sort of wood frame that is, that is suited to the climate and the roof to be of, of something similar. And in the last one, I showed you how to deconstruct any of these, any of these uh, um, constructions into, into their component uh, materials and, and their properties. And then you can even take those materials and deconstruct them further. And in this one, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own constructions from any materials that you want, any materials in the library. So actually, I'm going to start. I know. I mean, this this was these were mostly to show you guys, you know, sort of what we could do here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna delete those, and I'm gonna kind of go back to uh, to just like just our our component that searches through the library through through our our construction library. And you guys know that that's a component that's under here, the call from EP construction library component. So okay, so you guys will notice. I mean, maybe if I well. I'm going to delete everything out of this keywords panel. And you guys saw in the last video that there is a big, large library of materials that you can, that you can combine and, and into unique constructions that you want. Um, you know, just, just in any way you want. And you know that, uh, I mean, so there, there are different things within here. I mean, also, I guess there's an important thing that I didn't quite point out in the last video, which is that you have EP materials, which are all opaque things like concrete and stucco and gypsum and insulation um, and wood siding and all these different things. And then you also have window materials that come out in their own list. And if, I'm, if I connect those up to this panel here, you'll see that there's a bunch of things to, uh, to help you make, uh, you know, that, that are used together to make window constructions. So you have like an air gap, uh, you know, clear, clear three millimeters, you know, clear glass that's three millimeters wide. Um, and then they're all sort of like, um, uh, materials that are actually, you know, trying to approximate, you know, specific windows in in in, in particular, and there's kind of there's this theoretical glass too, and uh, you know, in in the uh, that is used sometimes. I think in very very, you know, in some cases where you don't have a climate zone and stuff. Um, so all right, so so the thing is actually, I think for our for the purposes of this uh, this this the model that we're building up here at my parents' house, because we haven't changed the window constructions at all. And so I think I think it'd be a good idea because and actually like some of my parents' windows like they you know they actually did take some of these windows back here and just recently made them double pane, but a lot of the other windows on the house are single pane. And so something that I kind of wanted to do is I I wanted to show my parents how much money they're going to save on energy by switching all the windows of the house over to to single pane. So all right, so in this video we'll make we'll make constructions for double and single pane windows. And then what you learn here will be also applicable to opaque construction, so so don't worry if you know if, if this is window specific. But all right, the way that you make uh, constructions, you build up constructions from the individual materials, is with this Honeybee Energy Plus construction component that's under the Constructions tab of Honeybee. And so if you drag and drop this onto your canvas, this, this construction, you'll see it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, you know, it just takes a name and then a set of layers of different, you know, construction layers. Uh, and so, I mean, so the simple way, like supposing that I want to make a double pane, uh, you know, material. Uh, all right, well, let's see. We only really need air and clear in order to make a double pane uh, window. So, all right, so I'm, I'll search air. Um, you know, for one of these keywords to like just pick out, you know, that that air 13 millimeter construct uh, material, and and you know maybe I'll just Control C and Control V this, and uh, and let's see if we hook up window materials. Now I'll search for that that clear glass, that clear. Um, three millimeter. There we go. Okay. So all right. So now you know we we're getting single single materials out of these out of these inputs here. So really, all that I have to do to make a um, a double pane glazing is to put one layer of the you know well actually maybe I'll, I'll do this just so you guys can remember what's in each one of these things and it's and it's clear to you what we're doing here. All right, so. All right, so we've got panels. So all we need is one layer of clear, layer one of clear, the second layer, uh, layer two of air, and then the last layer of, of clear again. And then, uh, whoops, of clear. And, you know, and then we've essentially made a construction that has one, yeah, a, a pane of glass on each side and an air layer in between the two and a 13 millimeter air gap between, between those two panes of glass. So we've effectively made a double pane of glass. But also, I should, I should say, so you guys might be worried or wondering sometimes, 
How do I know which layer is on the inside and which is on the outside? And well, one thing would be, I mean, you remember we deconstructed the, the constructions before, and that actually showed you pretty well what was on the inside and the outside. The other way you can find out is just by hovering over this, this component, this energy plus construction, and it'll tell you that layer one is always the outermost layer. So that, that's just a good thing to keep in mind. You can always just hover over this component and check the description. Um, and that'll tell you the correct, you know, what the correct order of layers are. All right, so so all right, so we put the layers in here, and now we just need to give a name to this. So I'll just call this double, double W B L E, pain. Uh, and I think it's usually a good idea. I think you can probably actually put spaces in them, but I I, I would just maybe think it's a good idea to keep it all one word if you can. Um, uh, and so all right, and now we've essentially created, you know, what we get out of here this panel, if we pull up a panel, is that we get a construction that, I mean, if you guys remember what it looked like when we decomposed constructions before, what we mostly got was something like this. We get, you know, a construction that's called double pane that has, this is layer one, that layer two, and that is layer three. Um, and so, all right, so we have these, you know, essentially what, what, is a, what is a construction that's ready to go. But there's one other thing that we have to do before we're able to apply this to, uh, to say, like my parents' house. Uh, that we have up there, and that is that we need to write this construction into our project library. And for that, there's a specific component called Honeybee Add to e Energy Plus Library. And if you guys drag and drop this component onto the canvas, uh, you'll see that it takes an EP object, which in this case is our Energy Plus construction. And if you connect that up to there, and then all we need to do is set a Boolean to this, uh, Boolean toggle, and set that to true. And now we've written that construction into our library. And now, now that's now all we can use this construction anywhere else on this grasshopper canvas. Anywhere else where we might want to assign specific types of constructions. Um, so all right. So let's say maybe we wanted to let's let's do something interesting here. Maybe uh, maybe we wanted to assign double pane to well all right. We'll assign double pane to all of the all of the windows of the house except for the attic. Because you guys, if you guys remember from the previous windows, you know we added it in the attic here. Um, and you know, and I'll do this kind of just to, more more to show you guys the workflow than you know. I mean, in reality, there are yeah the actual windows of my parents' house that are double pane and single pane are different. Um, um, but uh, but all right, yeah. But I mean, so essentially, all that we have to do in order to set all of the windows. Well, all right. So this is going to set all of the windows over the entire. Um, uh, building to be uh, to be double pane if we pl uh, plugged it in here. So actually, probably what we want to do is before we find the adjacent zones, we actually wanted to ah yeah all right this is well yeah all right I guess it's worthwhile to do this. So we take another another set EP zone construction and we plug it in here. And before we solve the adjacencies on all these things, we probably take our our honeybee zones that come out here. Um, and uh, oops, okay, give it a second because it actually looks through all the constructions that are assigned to those zones whenever you plug things up to there. So give it a second. Okay, and we'll connect up these zones. And okay, all right, and now we're 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 ready to go. We've got we've got our zones in here, and we can now just we can change all of the windows on these zones that included everything except for the attic. We can change them all to double pane just by hooking up uh, our little double pane into the, the window EP construction there. And give it a few seconds because there are there are a lot of windows here, so it's you know it's gonna take some time to assign it. But um, but yeah I'll just fast forward for a few seconds. Okay. Alright so that's modifying that back there. And you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna set this to false so that we can you know replug everything that we had into here. So we'll plug in uh, our honeybee zones that include everything but the attic there. And now, now we just need to. Now we'll need to assign single pane to that attic window. That attic window, which is you know, which is this zone right here. Um, so, and and the easy way to do that. All right. Well, we actually have to first make a single pane construction, and th this will be actually a good opportunity to show you guys. So, all right. So you can you can always do a control C and control V to make another construction. But you may say to yourself, okay, what if I have a construction that has more or less layers than than just these than just three? I mean, it was kind of convenient before that we only had three, but like now we want to make a single pane window. And the easy way to do that is, well, all right, I'll change the name. We're making a new construction here, so I'll change it to sing single pane. 
And the easy, but the easy way to change the number of layers is that you can easily just do a minus there, and you know, and now you're down to a single layer, and which actually conveniently for us is already that clear three millimeter for a single pane glass. But you know, if you want to make more, you can always hit the plus sign. Well, whoops, so let's. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, it's saying four is not defined, but don't worry about that. You can still make a four layer construction or a five layer, you know, you can make as many layers as you want uh, in, in your energy plus constructions and it, it would still be okay once you hook something up to, for, for each of those. But all right, but we said here we're just going to do a single layer, uh, just one layer one and we're going to make it clear for a single pane glass and, uh, and you know, and just like that, I mean, we get out of we get out of this component. You know, it's a construction that has this name, and you know, we can just hook this up to here and write this. You know, into well, well, okay. So actually, it's interesting. So it told us as it reran this component when we hooked this up to there, it said double pane was already in the library. Do you want to overwrite it? Um, and usually, I mean, yes, you you, you usually do because uh, you know. Um, because it's well in this case it's the same exact construction so so we're just going to overwrite it from before and you know if you don't want that window to pop up the easy way to, to you know stop it from popping up is just set the tr set uh, overwrite to true and then that window won't pop up every time you know every time the 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 uh, uh, grasshopper script runs okay all right and so now so we now we have a single pane construction and so we'll go and apply a single pane to, and now this this will show you guys you remember back that uh, that it was possible to assign energy plus constructions to individual surfaces so now we're finally going to do that in this video and I'm going to do it by changing the window construction of, of these attic uh, attic windows over to single pane uh, and uh, and I'll change change both of them, both windows on both sides, over to single pane. If you guys remember, um, so all right. And so so now you see that there are kind of two methods of assigning the constructions. That one you can do them with this component, uh, you know, or as or this component as we're doing here, or you can do it with uh, you know all the way back here on the individual surface level. And so and this is this zone now we gotta you know because we change things around here with the the adjacencies. Uh, now, you know, to make sure that everything's lining up okay, we're going to have to hold down shift and plug this back into here um, and so, so that it solves adjacencies with that. And oh, and by the way, I noticed, uh, yeah, I should have said I was holding down shift when I connected up the construction, when I connected up the construction to this one. Um, so, so, yeah. So that, I mean, so you get the basic idea. I mean, and now we can, just as we did before, solve adjacencies on all these things. And then, you know, that's gonna, it'll, this component will change our wall and roof constructions from what, you know, we set back here, which, you know, which was just changing the windows up here. Um, and, you know, and then we have something, you know, we've changed our, our, our building based on custom constructions that we made for the windows of, of single pane and double pane glazing. And you know, and, and as I said, you guys can use that same workflow for building up layers and decreasing layers and pulling materials from the from the, the library. You can use the same method with the opaque materials, just like the window materials, to make constructions for, for any anything that you wanted, any roof or a different surface in your building. So all right, guys, and so, well, all right, I, I might as well wrap things up here, um, but let's see, where is that, that was the beer up that we wanted to turn off, because now, now we've got everything coming through to here, um, you know, with our, with our nice, you know, our nice modified zones with all of our window constructions that we like, and I mean, and you guys, I mean, just to point out what I just said with the, with the uh, material, you know, you'd use the opaque materials and the same energy plus construction component if you want to use this for like the walls or the floors or any other thing. So that was just to point that out. All right, so in the next video, I mean, so we, we started basically with a library of materials already. But in the next video, I'm showing that sometimes you guys can get really down deep into this and actually, you know, you want to design your own materials, bottom up from all the properties of those materials. You know, all, all, those, all those individual things, like, I mean, you guys remember in the last one that, you know, you can decompose this material and see all the different values that, you know, all these the properties that make this up. And that's what the next video is going to be. All right, guys, so thanks for watching and, and be well, be well, my viewers.